Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create an OEM Windows 7 uh, ISO image and DVD so you could use it. Uh, so for example, if you bought a Windows 7 computer, it already has a, a license to it, usually a sticker underneath or on the computer. The problem is when, when you try to reinstall Windows uh, from scratch, you can't use that license because you don't have an OEM Windows 7 disk. Uh, so, for example, if you have the retail version of the Windows 7 disk, you have to convert it to an OEM ISO image um, in order to use that uh, serial number. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. So what you'll need is you'll, you'll need a 7-zip, uh, which is the unzipping and zipping utility. So download it from here, install it. And I'm going to highlight the retail version of my ISO image. Or if I have the uh, DVD, retail version DVD, that's even better. I, I just have to go into the DVD. But in this case, I have an ISO image. So I'm going to open the archive. And I'm going to go under Sources. And I'm going to search for the file ei.cfg. So here it is. I'm going to drag it to a temporary location so I can edit it and open it up in a text editor and you'll notice here there's the retail channel so this retail channel tells it that it will only read or, or only be able to interpret serial numbers from the retail channel so I'm going to change this to OEM and save it and now um, I'm going to bring up my uh, DVD burning software so the particular software I'm using is Power ISO. So I opened up the original ISO file here. And I'm going to burn this uh, ISO, I'm going to burn this to a DVD. But first, I am going to go under Sources and scroll down to where this file is. I'm going to delete this original file because that's the retail version. And now I'm going to drag the one that I edited into where, into the software that I'm going to burn it. So you'll notice now this is the version that I've changed. And if I burn this onto a DVD, I now will be able to reinstall Windows using the original uh, serial number, the OEM serial number that came with the computer. So that's how you do it. And uh, thank you for watching. Um, now, if you have a retail version of Windows 7, um, you don't have to go through that step. You just have to uh, copy all the files and edit this particular one um, and reburn the DVD. And uh, that's how you do it. So um, I hope this works for you and helps. And thank you for watching.